The Salvation Army of Bell County Feed My Sheep and St. Vincent de Paul plan to come together this year to help feed the homeless in Bell County. But due to COVID-19, that big celebration has now been called off. Our Jarrell Baker tells us how the organizations are now being forced to pivot so they can still feed those that need it most. This year was going to be the first year the three organizations held a joint Thanksgiving dinner and they had even planned to get elected officials involved. Every year, the Salvation Army of Bell County, Feed My Sheep, and St. Vincent de Paul serve hot Thanksgiving meals to those without a place to call home. We have people who come to get a lunch down at Feed My Sheep because they're lonely, um, because they're looking for community and they're, they're looking for someone to smile at them and talk to them and, and ask them how they're doing. It's why the three organizations decided to do it big this year and have a joint community dinner. Originally, uh, you know, we, we, we planned to bring them in, sit them down like a restaurant style and uh, uh, make them feel special in doing that. Um, and then have leaders of the community serve them their food. The organization expected to have hundreds of area homeless to show up. But due to the recent rise in COVID-19 cases, they're being forced to call it off. The city uh, felt like, you know, there, there needed to be a, a heightened sense of, of safety. So uh, they said that uh, having that many people congregating together wasn't a good idea. Even though the larger plan is no more, they still plan to give back to the community separately. We need some individuals to help. And when that is a little bit scaled back just to keep you know, the crowd's down, but um, we'll be packing food and giving it to go. Um, it's about being family for people who don't have family. The organization is also asking people to donate pies, gravy, dressing, and other food so they can offer everyone in our community a Thanksgiving meal. In Bell County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News.